Hi, Alan. Alan, there's a, a few parents have been ringing me to know, can they claim carer's benefit? So can you just explain to us really what exactly is carer's benefit? Okay, so let's not confuse. Carer's allowance, remember, is this means tested thing, okay? Carer's benefit is a similar payment, but carer's benefit is different. Carer's benefit is based on your PRSI, meaning that, you know, you, you're working and built up enough PRSI and you now want to reduce your hours, you have to reduce it to a maximum of 18 and a half hours. You can stop work or you can do five hours or 10 hours a week, whatever, you know, suits yourself. And the other aspect is when, when you're working, then your earned income from your job mustn't be over 332 a week. Okay, so that generally for 90 odd percent of your family is never an issue because when you reduce your hours, it will drop underneath that. And then what you're able to do is take your care as benefit and you have it, you know, 104 weeks to take. And again, you can take it in blocks of time or you could take it in all one run. And that's your care as benefit. As I said, it's not kind of means tested. The care allowance is all means tested. Salary, income, savings, all those kind of questions. OK, so I'm presuming your employer won't tell you you can take this. <laughs> no, your employer would, your employer would have no concept. Now, I've never really seen an employer refuse. They probably any. can't, can they? Well, I, I saw them, like, go to UHR. I assume there's legal laws and stuff around carers' leave that you're entitled to take your carers' leave, that side. So, again, um, and often I see parents, and you can use it very well. You know, we'd often say to parents, like, the big, big thing I always say to parents, don't just take your two years, because often parents would get a diagnosis, take yes. your two years, and kind of slightly regret it because they have no more carers' benefit. Because once you take carers' benefit, the 104 weeks, once you use your maximum, that is all you have for the rest of time do you know i mean you can't get it again now subsequently the other spouse the other parent can take it separately at another period of time they could take 104 weeks but you can't pass it like it's not like tax credits you could pass your carers benefit to your husband or wife for them to take it it has to be you know your own prsi and your own 104 weeks and this carers benefit alan will this stay for the child for the parents the children for years and years and years is there not a time criteria you must take for the child 10 not or anything like that it's not so much when the child is 10 it's before you're 66 because well after yes. 66 you get a state pension so again you can take it at that so any parent up up to that point as you said and you might take some when your child is say transition to school for a five or something you might stop it you might take it over summer periods you might take three months over the summer holidays for a couple of you know but it's just 102 weeks and this age 66 once you meet the kind of other criteria which mainly are does your child have domiciliary or does your child have disability health? and that meets all the kind of medical criteria then as well yeah and i can see how kind of it would be so tempting for parents to take it immediately when they have the new baby and the diagnosis and everything else but i suppose in hindsight it would be just careful not to rush into that because I know for David's life now he had a few operations that were very serious um, uh, and that if that carer's benefit was taken at those times now I know hindsight is great and we don't yeah. know um, but you know if you had any ideas at all around those things maybe be would be better for parents to think about it just before yeah. they jump into it and it might be the right time it might be the right time to take it you know but as you just said just take one last thing just before you send off the application and take or just like am i going to do the full two years or if you might be half with it now at the moment i think actually do you know what i could stop the cares event and use it at another time do you know so again it's certainly something that we always encourage but just think about it you know just as you said and and then obviously make your best choice you know um going forward OK, just a small question there. Carers, that carers allowance always gets reviewed. Does carers benefit? No, no, no. See, carers benefit is not a reviewable thing. It's not like, you no, know, once you qualify, once you have enough PRSI, then you just you, you run it and off you go. As the carers allowance at any stage, they can come out to you and say, show me your savings, show me your assets. Has your salary gone up or salary gone down? So no, once you get your carers benefit, it's kind of smooth enough going forward. OK, and so what PRSI do parents need to have to qualify? Yeah, that's actually, that's a kind of good enough question. It's not any PRSI, it's specific, like, no, like class A, your normal employee, because the likes of like directors, self-employed people, they actually can't get access to carers' benefits. Really? Yeah, no, yeah, if you're self-employed, you play like maybe class S or a director, so you don't have, you know, they only give it to like, you know, class A employees, is your just your normal employment kind of contract with your employer, uh, PSA. 
Okay, and how much would they people receive in carers benefit? They'll get um, similar to the carers allowance, about two hundred twenty-five a week, plus a small kind of increase depending on the size of your family. So if you have two kids or three kids, you'd get a slight increase on it. Interesting enough, if you have two children or more, say with uh, additional needs. You can actually, a lot of parents, and again, this is something I obviously don't do this. Often parents would take it together so that they'll get one and a half times the payment for two years. But I'm always saying to families, don't do that because you end up losing out on money. You're actually in a much better situation if you just claim for one child individually, claim your 225, you know, and then at another period, you could add like, you could do two years and then take your second child straight away for another. You could have four years in a row of 225 rather than doing the one and a half times for two years and if you do the math it's like 10,000 or something you know extra you could get over the two years so again if you have more than one child with additional needs my recommendation is claim it separately claim it separately okay I didn't realize you could claim it separately yeah no you can you can claim you put in the application and you just put in your son first and maybe you have a daughter then with additional needs and you can Put the application towards your daughter the second time oh okay and is care is care's benefits mean is it means tested no no it's not means tested at all again just remember 18 and a half hours try and meet some medical criteria and your salary then you don't need to like you don't need to like produce bank statement you don't need to let them know how much saved you or if you have second property or other type of assets if you have crypto a lot of people are saying that with me not at the moment but we won't get into that no worries me but again if you have any other assets it's not applicable in this application. They won't even ask for it. So that's the difference with carers allowance then, isn't it, Alan? And carers benefit. Exactly. The, the care, and remember the carers allowance, if you qualify for both, always take carers allowance. You get you don't have a two-year restriction. You can do it for many years. You also get extra payments on the carers allowance as well. So if you can get access to both, do the carers allowance, keep your carers benefit up your sleeve type scenario. Okay, and how long does it take now to process this in Ireland? They're not too bad. They're not too bad to be fair now on that side, but um, generally here like five, six weeks, parents would like get their application in and get uh, acknowledgement that they can go on it. So again, there's a bit to it. So do like if it, you know, because you need to get your employer to fill in their section, obviously saying well, how many hours and what salary you'd be getting. So there is a bit of information to get on. So do get it like maybe planned for 10, 12 weeks before you're going to do it. But as I said, you should be able to get it all in place in a, a number of weeks. And of course, that can't be backdated. No, generally, you have to kind of, well, you could, you could make some case, you know, that there are unusual circumstances, you know, but in general, you can almost have, you almost plan to say at the end of your maternity, you know. Now, that's another thing, actually. An awful lot of parents I meet would take maternity and then take unpaid leave. Now, that's when I would say use it. Don't ever take unpaid leave. You know, that's a very good time to use it. Uh, but as I said, generally you plan it and you, you pick your data when you want to start, you know, and obviously get an agreement with your employer and then off you go then with your, your care benefit. And you don't have to work, you can stop work, you know, if that may suit your family situation better. But as I said, the max you can do if you are working is this 18 and a half hours or education or doing a course is 18 and a half hours. Okay. And is there any other entitlements that parents would get then with um, carers benefit Alan yeah if you get the carers benefit don't forget you're entitled to a GP visit card you no know, free GP care as a carer once you have the carers benefit and then you also get your care support grant so now if you're getting domiciliary you'll get it but if you're not getting the domiciliary maybe your child has disability time. if you do the carers uh, benefit you'll also get the actual care support grant as well at that time so do do as I said do check make sure that you're getting everything there and again now how would parents apply for this right now yeah, if you want to apply for it, again, get onto ourselves or even see this information, just contact them, get them to send you out a form or you go to gov.ie, you'll be able to download the form there and then start to fill it in there. And I said, get the different sections and then off you go. Copy everything as well before you send it off. Just make sure you have copies of all just in case it kind of goes missing. So you have everything, you're smiling at me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> and send it off. And things have gone missing. Yes. Yeah. So, Alan, thank you so much. That's after clearing up a few bits there. So thank you for that. No problem. Good talking.